In this uh, short video, I will show you how to take a user input and save that input as a variable using JavaScript and then you can do whatever you want to do with it. You can do a mathematical operation uh, if you, your input is a number or you can display greetings. So I'll, I'll be showing you how to save a user input as a variable and then um, just show a greeting message to the user from the website. Okay. I've saved my page uh, as new one HTML and uh, and this is the opening HTML tag and this is closing HTML tag okay so if you type in input okay what it simply does if I don't have anything and if I run run it and run it in Chrome you'll see a black page web page okay if I type in input it creates a it creates a box on the web page in which user can type in anything okay so the next thing is to take a um, to use uh, a script okay so i've created uh, an opening script tag and a closing script tag and we have to type in our script okay and here We'll use our old uh, favorite document dot get element by id. Uh, this is a method in JavaScript. Document refers to the in very simple words. It refers. It is one of the DOM objects, and this refers to the blank page. Now, using this method, we target an element with the help of an id. If you have seen my previous video, so you want to target this element, which is input, whatever the user is typing okay so we have to give this an id okay and i will give this an id of id of user input okay now once we have given this element an id we can target this by copying this and then just typing into these uh, brackets okay so now we are targeting the user uh, user uh, the input element uh, by id and i want to capture whatever value uh, the user has put in i would also like to create a button and i will say give me let me give uh, a line break and i uh, button okay and on click i want to run a function and the name of that function will be greetings okay so on the click of this button i want to run a function called greetings which we have not created as yet and the button will say click me and then a closing button tag line break again save it run it in chrome so you have a button and then the user is able to give you uh, some uh, value in via this input field okay okay save it format is a bit better now but nothing happens because we haven't created the function called greeting although we have we are targeting this element whatever is being put in so we have to create a variable okay so we'll create a variable and i'll give it a name of ad for example Okay. so we're saving whatever users user types in as a variable called ad okay and once we have everything that we need we can create this into a function okay called greeting okay to do that type in function and the name of the function is greetings all right i'll copy and paste it 
and then open curly bracket and then a closing curly bracket all right so let's see if it is okay so far nothing will happen and we can simply say document dot write I'll say hello and I will type in whatever the value of a b is okay I want this value to be displayed on the web page with this string so save it and I want to do it on click of this button okay so this this function will run on click of this button and this function is simply saving the user input from this element into a variable called ad or oh, this should be ad ad all right save it run now whatever you type in and click it hello michael okay run it again whatever you type in will be displayed as hello use oh, i should have typed in the right name okay all right so this is how you save a user input as a variable and then you can do a lot of things with the help of that uh, uh, variable uh, a lot of mathematical functions uh, calculator for example use uh, methods similar to this although they are a bit more complex in this video i want things to be very very simple so i hope you get an idea thank you very much